the power of phlegm. And what's that? A gigantic pumpkin? Oh, wonderful. I'm having hallucinations again. Zoinks! But that's Patagrol! Or at least I think it is. You okay, buddy? Hmm, video surveillance, huh? I shall have to call upon my training in the Foreign Legion to get him out of here without venturing within range and setting off a security system. Dismembering him and taking him down piece by piece is not one of the possible answers to the question, how am I gonna get him down? Hmm, or maybe the question ought to have been, how am I gonna get him down alive? How am I gonna get him down alive? I don't want to smash his head in. At least not until I catch him trying to sell the contents of my medicine cabinet to the tenants in my apartment building again. I can only hope that the fine layer of sweat and grime in which my assistant is perennially coated will provide the wool with a grip. And to think that for all these years, I thought that those wool throwing courses at summer camp were a waste of time. Wow, I thought things like that only worked in cartoons. Everything okay, Patagrel? Ah, uh, you don't know how happy I am to see you still in one piece. It's a trap, a trap. No, Patagrel, this is no time for thinking about food. Trap, this is a trap. What's that you say? Enough of this crap? Trap, Tony, it's a trap. Listen here, I don't want to have to say it again. No more candies tonight. Get down from there and wait for me in the sidecar. There's a couple more things I need to find out. Ah, okay, you're the boss. Good dog. Teeper, I'm a good teeper. Thanks, Patagrel. Same to you. And now there are a few things that remain to be cleared up. Things like, what was supposed to be the purpose of this top hat? Does urine retention therapy truly give results, or have I been voluntarily subjecting myself to torture for all these years for nothing? Or like, who took my doggy, and why? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, my good sir. I've been looking for a free restroom for hours now, and I wondered if you might, if you might be able to tell me... What? You here? How the hell? Oh, doesn't matter now. Might as well introduce myself. I'm Jack! Jack O'Lantern! The guy who sent me the brochure, right? Brochure? That was a ransom note, dammit! Anyway, yes, I'm the guy who sent it, you stupid, petty little detective. Ha! Detective my foot! It's me, Jack O'Lantern, owner of Halloween Park and ex-next-door neighbor of yours! Uh, who? Ha! Forgotten me, have you? That's right, forgotten me, like the rest of the human race! Ever since I got this damn pumpkin stuck on my head and was condemned to live as a recluse! Ha <laughs> Ah, come on now. If that pumpkin really was causing you so much trouble, you'd have taken it off by now. Sure, Mr. Genius. And supposing the specialist told me I'd die as soon as it was removed? And since you're so smart, Mr. No Trace of Cerebral Activity, let me tell you something else. You want to know the cause of this whole thing, including my chronic aching neck?
Let me see now. Some sort of extreme form of S&M? No way! It was you! You chronic case of acute verbal diarrhea! It's all because of you! It's because of you that I have to spend the rest of my life with this enormous vegetable perched on the end of my neck! It's all your fault. And as if that weren't enough, I've subconsciously diverted all the rage and frustration generated by a life of failure onto you, Tony Tough! That's why I built this parody of a fun fair out of nothing! And that's why I kidnapped your overweight taper! Hehe! <laughs> it was all just a plot produced by my perverted mind to get you into the park! So I could smash your empty head in with this gigantic pumpkin! Built over long years of tireless effort out of sugar, earned at the park ticket counter, and collected in a long series of petty thefts! But, but, but that means you. You! A pumpkin on your head! Exactly the same punishment I've been suffering for years! What better revenge for you and that whole bunch of good-for-nothing drunkards down there? But, the stolen candy. Every Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. The only day of the year I could go out in public without risking being either laughed at or beaten up. And, and the park entrance fee. The identikits with huge heads. Slicks, it all fits into the puzzle. That means that the intergalactic fiend I spent my life tracking down... Right! ...is... is you! Speechless for once, ha! Huh? You imbecile! Well, or no, actually. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Let's just call it your last wish. Okay, where's the restroom? Uh, what's the other question? The second question is... Why did you go to all the bother of patiently building a pumpkin out of sugar over all these years, when you could have had one made overnight out of concrete or oak wood that would do just as well? Well, the only thing I wanted was sweet revenge. I guess maybe I took it a bit too literally. Hey, but why is it that the bad guys always have to explain their villainous plots? Oh, who cares? You won't have the opportunity to tell anybody about it anyway. In a few seconds' time, you'll be up on a cloud playing a harp. And you know what's the funniest thing about it? Err. Uh. That I'm going to do you in with my own hands without so much as a single witness. <laughs> if you so much as left a finger against me, I'll let out one of my blood-curdling cowardly yells, and that will take all the fun out of it for you. Huh? And besides, it's not true that there won't be any witnesses. Allow me to introduce my secretary, Joelle. That's right, and she's going to watch the whole thing. Don't be stupid! That's just your hand with a wig on it! Are you perfectly sure of that now? Of course! So, this is just my hand, right? Yeah! So, why don't you take a closer look then? was close, but now I've cracked the case, and the boss is gonna have to give me dental coverage. Uh-oh. I am born again this morn! I shall begin a new life! A life with no fiendish plots, a life with no paranoias, a life with no pumpkin on my head! Strange as it may seem, dear players, we have come to the end of our story. Pantagruel did have a tough time, but in the end he managed to get everyone out of the park before the pumpkin fell. So everything went well, and we can now state with certainty that no animal suffered injury or mistreatment during the development of this game.
If you didn't find this long-running and edifying adventure fun, please don't hold it against the developers. They really tried their best. So if you laughed and cried along with our little private eye, why that, combined with the heaps of cash we're going to make, will more than repay us for all the time and energy that went into the game. But enough of that nonsense. Let's get back to serious talk. You're no doubt wondering what became of Tony Tuff, the private eye who made a virtue of excess salivation. Well, if it's a clear night next Halloween, just try looking up into the sky above your brain box, and you'll be quite likely to see him hurtling across the sky, transformed into a flaming comet by atmospheric friction. And as you crane your necks to observe him whizzing across sidereal space, smile, my friends. If for no other reason, just because it's not happening to you. Um, and what was I going to say next? Maybe something about how you got over your rheumatism. Ah, uh, who cares? Hey, guys! Guys! What are you waiting for to get me out of here? That dismal game is over now. Let's get going. Hey, come on, guys. No horsing around. Guys. Hey, guys. Thank you. 